All right, if you have kids or you're looking to buy a present for somebody who has kids, or maybe you just really like basic paleontology yourself, right? No shame in that. Check this out. We bought a paleontology kit for our kids, and I'm going to review it in this video. All right, here we go, baby. Brand new out of the box. It's a 3D skeleton paleontology dinosaur dig kit. Pretty affordable, I would say. 15, 20 bucks, maybe. And this is what it comes with right out of the box. Two replica dinosaurs with skin on them, right? Not real, of course. Just plastic painted. Pretty cheap, but cool enough. Gives you kind of a final, what what is it that you're working towards kind of thing, right? So sometimes a five-year-old might not see... Uh, the intrinsic, you know, benefit it? of paleontology in its base, most basic form, right? Um, so a little incentive there. Anyway, you unbox it, and here is uh, what it comes with. Lots of simple tools, magnifying glass, and a couple of uh, diggers of various types. This is it. Got kind of a mallet, a couple of things that poke, kind of some things that saw. It's like a dentist kit almost. And you'll see why this is useful very soon. And of course you can take a look. So this is pretty neat. I've got a five-year-old, four-year-old in this video. And almost five. And a seven-year-old. And so I would argue that this is a age-appropriate, pretty cool gift idea. Or if you're just looking for something to pass their time. I'll get into that in a minute, but uh, here's a look at the first crack. We've got the four-year-old doing it. We'll speed this up a little bit here. And it does take, I would say, some adult intervention from time to time. The kids can get a little frustrated because uh, they're not making fast enough progress. So it is a bit slow, but you've got a brush. So the idea is you can dig, scrape, and then brush away. And... We also ended up getting the uh, the dust buster out because this does make a mess. So adequately prepare your area. This powder stuff goes uh, all over, I would say. And Mr. Dinosaur is checking in on the progress. What is taking so long? So if you're thinking this is like a 20 minute, you know, deal for your kids, nope. It's like an afternoon and another afternoon and another afternoon. <laughs> it's pretty slow going, but look at them like. They're not motivated uh, at all extrinsically. They are completely interested in what's underneath there. And dare I say it, they're even working together, collaborating. That never happens. My kids fight all the time. All right, well, maybe they fought a little bit, but it was pretty cool. Science, baby. Look at them, engaging. Let's get a closer look. So this, there's this dry powder stuff that you chisel away, and I'm gonna trust the company that this is you know, safe to touch. And I wouldn't say there's a lot of uh, dust coming up in terms of breathing, so not, not a huge issue there. It mostly makes a, a lateral mess, right, on the, on the surfaces. So definitely put down some paper. Make sure you're doing this uh, in a garage or just make sure, you know, have a dust buster vacuum ready if you're not. Look at the mess. You can see it on our kitchen table, right? So uh, I did not adequately, you know, clean or prep that area, so I had to... My wife got a little upset at me, but whatever. Welcome to the channel. Do lots of home projects around the house. Nothing's off limits for the most part, saving you time and money. So click that like button, share this with somebody, and subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every week or so. All right, so we've got a bone out. That's cool. You see that there? It's like this cheap plastic stuff. It does snap and break. It's just plastic. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy, right? Uh, but I guess that... Simulates a real brittle bone, right? So you got to be careful. Well, you can't just pull it out. You might damage this million year old, you know, dinosaur bone. So that's the narrative happening with my kiddos. And I even had to get in there too to encourage, especially the rib part. So there's actually two full size dinosaurs buried in here in various parts. They just kind of drop them in, and I assume they pour this uh, this stuff on top of it, and it kind of dries in place. So. Uh, when they made it in the factory, right? I think that's how it probably works. Can't think of another way, but uh, here it is. We've got some rib cage pieces out. And once you uh, get get these pieces out, you can start to, and the, the instructions show you how to do this, what snaps where. It's not random or they don't leave that up to you, but you can start to kind of figure out, 
uh, based on those instructions, what snaps together. There's, again, two different dinosaurs, a carnivore and an herbivore. And uh, there, I think this is the T-Rex or Allosaurus or something. I can't remember what it, what exactly it was. But And if the parts don't snap in, you'll have to use the tools because there might be some of that powder stuff like clogging the holes that it's supposed to you know snap in with so you can water uh, rinse those out with water if if that's a problem but we have all the pieces out and it's a good five or six days later folks and here we are we can start to assemble it there's a look at the carnivore and the replica one right next to it so it's not like exactly the same but it's cool to see hey here's the skeletal structure here is what it looked like perhaps uh, millions of years ago. So great gift idea, highly recommended, affordable, and keeps the kids entertained. Hopefully this helped you out. Thanks.